golden day for the American team. Gabby Douglas flying and soaring to a gold medal in the women's all-around competition, the first African-American woman to win the event. And Michael Phelps added to his legacy as the world's greatest swimmer. Just when you thought his story couldn't get any better, it did. Our man in the stadium right there at the London Olympic Games, ABC's Bill Weir, leading our coverage again tonight from London. The greatest two hours of Gabby Douglas's life began with a vault, and it was better than anyone could have hoped. It put her at the top of the leaderboard, where she stayed through the flying squirrel playground of the uneven bars and the balance beam, bending in line so straight she makes architects jealous. She finished on the floor with a big grin, a techno beat, and the unabashed love of the London crowd. But after Russia's Victoria Kamova wheeled out a stellar routine, Gabby had to stare up at the scoreboard, heart and throat, until the numbers flashed a dream come true. First African-American all-around champion ever. But this brand of gold does not come cheap. She's been in love with tumbling since toddling. But as this online ad from P&G shows, to train with the best, Gabby had to leave her home in Virginia Beach and live with strangers in Iowa. By her 16th birthday, the homesickness was unbearable. Mom refused to let her come home. Mom, I mean, come on, you're supposed to be on my side on this one. You're supposed to let the baby come home, but she was just like, nope. She told me, life is not easy. You have to fight and just refuse to quit. She didn't quit. And now that her Air Force Staff Sergeant dad is back from Afghanistan, two families get to revel in the fruits of her gifts and grit. Meanwhile, it was a liquid stage for the kind of leading man duel we wait four years to watch. Conventional wisdom and newsstands full of beefcake covers had it that this would be the race Ryan Lochte would take the greatest swimmer mantle from Michael Phelps. But Phelps had something else in mind. For the third time in three Olympics, America's Aquaman won the 200 medley as Lochte settled for silver. No one has ever won such a three-peat before. One more record to go with his 20 career medals. Meanwhile, on the women's side, great day for Rebecca Sony. Uh, she wins the gold in the 200-meter breaststroke and sets a new world record in the process. And as for athletes who stay dry while racing across water, the Team USA Women's Eight defeated, defended their uh, Beijing gold there. Uh, not everybody stayed dry, though. Uh, Cox and Mary Whipple gets tossed into the water, David as traditional celebration. Great night for USA here in London.